One of the most common questions I get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did for our viewers on YouTube is create a free mentorship course that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they get started. But please take note that there is limited seating every single week. So please reserve your spot at myinvestingclub.co. Link is in the description. So loud. Wow. Not used to that yet. All right. July 20th, first day of real earnings. First real earnings ticker was Netflix. So closed rather unchanged on the day and after hours and everything else. So it had a pretty wild dip, uh, but this is normal for earnings releases. <clears throat> Usually that happens. You'll get some kind of crazy move like this and up or down and then it finally settles out as the news gets digested so what was what was the earnings per share it was 297 so they missed oh so they missed but it's still everything looks so i guess they had some i haven't read the earnings report i have no i've i all i do with earnings reports i don't really even look um at anything else Sounds backwards. Beat earnings? How do they beat earnings if it's less than the actual expectations? The S ones were 316 a share. The actuals were 297. So they, would they beat on revenue or something? Membership growth beats. Okay. So there's where they beat in membership growth, which in turn is directly revenue. Uh, may find no business like show business. What a catch. Yeah, membership growth seems seems like that. Yeah, okay, yeah. So beat new subscriber expectations. Gotcha. CMG did well. That stock is never something I ever touched. Look at how illiquid that is. Look at the liquidity on this thing. Am I on the right stock? Is that, is that the right thing? Yeah, I mean, look at this. Look at the volume. Just horrendous. Just gross. Yeah. Not something I would ever want to trade. Um, but I mean, Jesus, that's a lot of money for some burritos. But okay. So Netflix earnings came out. Earnings were rather flat, which is a positive thing. Slightly gapping up, but... Uh, we had a nice rally in the market today. <laughs> this is that pattern I told you guys about. I was telling I was telling you guys during during the market open that this is this is that this is that pattern. Apple was doing it, so you know Apple's probably one of the biggest um, impacting tickers in the spy, but they trade almost identical, so it's hard to say you know which is kind of the one to go with, but. This is what I really liked about the SPY and why I took the trade today. I don't know where my phone is. That's my computer ringing. I don't know. Oh, I think it's charging. No, it's charging. Never mind. Never mind. <clears throat> All right. So, sorry. Um, anyway, what I really liked about, um, about spy touching the 50 period moving average average is we've done it three times in the past. So fourth time around was, was something that was going to be very closely watched by pretty much everybody. Um, sorry. Looking at you, buddy. You know, for the team? No. <laughs> ah, I love that one. That was good. That was good. Could you share that for the team? <laughs> I can hear the sarcasm in the dots. It's just like, for the team? <laughs> All right. So, anyway. Um, yeah, sorry. I don't share this little bullish thing. Uh, anyway, so 
Okay, we address that, address that. Yep. All right. So here we are. The purpose of the trade was to basically exploit the shorts wanting to continue to God, I just can't believe I still can't. Oh my God, this day would have went so differently. Oh. Okay, whatever. Fine. Forget it. All right. Do you use the pivot points for sell or cover points rather than the resistance line or add to that? I use them as both. They are all of the above. They are all of the, but yeah, now I won't make that freaking mistake again. Absolutely. And you know, the reality of it though, you know, the reality of it, Zah, is it probably will never happen again, right? It's probably never going to happen again. It was just this one time that Steve gets to make me look like an ass on a webinar. It does. I'll get blamed for that one too. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. So I, uh, Gil, I use them for everything. Sell points, cover points, uh, resistance lines, support lines, all of it, all of it. Same with VWAP. Okay. Same with VWAP. VWAP is the same way, except I don't use VWAP as a resistance or support. I don't really like that trade. It works in small caps. For me, it's not really a thing in big caps as nearly as much. Um, because in my opinion, there is more algorithmic volume that happens in large caps than there does in small cap. Most of volume in, in small caps is like retail people, right? Retail day traders. So retail day traders are going to watch VWAP a whole lot more closely. Now, VWAP is still important in large caps, but it's not something where uh can you explain the misprint no if i could i would have fixed it and would have known right steve yeah can't explain the misprint i don't know i don't know why it happened call td ameritrade ask them ask them uh yeah so <clears throat> yeah how do you new, how do you get the new pivot calculation <laughs> i also can't explain it i know right Who, what? Somebody just texted me on WhatsApp and was like, is this Sam? Who's Sam? I don't even know who Sam is. Anyway, all right. So, uh, okay, we answered that. Do you include pre-market and after hours in your pivot calculations? MDDG, no. No, we do not. So if you are in DAS, go to study config, and then the checkbox that says include pre-market and post, uncheck that, and now you will have the right calculations. <clears throat> uh, or if you're in trading view or somewhere else, but just make sure that all it's doing, because there, there are pivot points that do this, okay? But the reality is, is that after hours and pre-market range does not really matter because what does the herd do, right? What does the herd do? They look at the daily candle. They don't know that, you know, maybe a stock was 140 low and got as high as 145 that day, but during pre-market, it got as high as 150, right? And then in after hours, it got as low as 110. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.